Minnie Mouse, Scary Cat Sleepover. Are you ready today? Minnie Mouse rolled her parody pink Susan's on some up to her best friend Daisy. Doug's front door. She and Daisy were having a sleepover. The door flew open before Minnie even had a chance to ring the bell. Hurry up, cried Daisy. I've got a ton of stuff planned for us to do. Yep, that sounds a great idea. What you look out of me? What did you gotta do? When they got inside, Daisy us in. First, we're making cupcakes. The friends got right to work mixing, baking, and decoration. These look amazing! If I do say so myself, Stacy said. Let's take every cupcake. Let's put it round like a circle. Tomorrow, let's leap some at Minnie's and Donald's house as a surprise. Minnie's is just does she know that the cupcakes were decorated just like the vows those they were wearing? Somehow, I have a feeling they how do I know the cupcakes are from us? Decorations of the cupcakes were for cold and desserts. Next, it was time for a fashion show. Daisy brought out makeup, jewelry, and some of the, her most glamorous clothes. We are going to look so cute, Daisy said. When they were done, Minnie looked at herself in the mirror. I'm not sure this is certain about Keith, she said, laughing. I think I actually made myself into a Christmas tree. And look, where does the stuff to do? I hear you and sometimes. Minnie decided that Christmas tree was partly not the next big fashion turn. So she and Daisy. New looks and changed into pajamas. It was time to relax and, and enjoy a movie. My TV gets 397 channels, said Daisy. Let's see what looks good. The channel crosses until they came to a scary movie. And said, perfect minute, he said. So that's right now. I get to for you. A movie called The Instrument Monster with a Nintendo. Cause it wasn't just beginning. Minnie and Daisy watching as they in the instances. Enter the spookiness. The, the, the door slammed behind her with a bang. Eek! Minnie and Daisy jump. You never get me. Monster, the Ezra woman butt. But soon she heard the scratch, scratch, scratch of the monster moving towards it. The monster chases the Oka all over the house. Luckily, she managed to the answer. But Minnie and Daisy watched the rest of the movie with the lights on. When the movie was over, the friends got, got ready for bed. Minnie tried not to hit jump every time she started up the strange sound. Daisy tried to go on to the toe with a creepy shadows on the wall. Soon they got into bed and wished us on each of her sweet dreams. But an hour later, they were still away. That movie screams to me. Minnie finally stretches. Somehow, and says her monster eat and even worse than one you can see. Just imagination. What it might look like gave me goose and thumbs. I got goose gums too, replied Daisy. She tried to cheer up her friend by making a joy. I said, when that girl wore. The ugly weber with monster yellow sparkles. 
I've never seen anything so frightening. Maybe such as they drink some more milk to make the stern sleepy. After she became monks full, they were back in bed. And still wait, it's nothing working, Daisy groaned. What should we do now? How about counting sheep, Mitty cried. She closing her eyes and began pressing the metal fur of the them. Daisy closed her eyes too, but she decided to count over things instead. Finally, the girls started to drip off. Oh, then suddenly, they heard a loud scratch. What was that? Daisy cried. I don't know, Minnie said. Hand under her blanket. Maybe it was just a bronzed and disgusted as it gets in the window. Yes, that must be it, replied Daisy. But she wasn't concerned. A few minutes later, they heard more a stretching and then a loud scream. <sighs> Yell the girls. What if is in her the internet monster with ten foot claws? Asked Daisy. Minnie took a deep breath. Let's try to stay calm, she said. I'm sure whatever it is, it's in him. making do some noises is precisely hazardous. And there's only one way out to out find out. What's that? Asked Daisy. We had to be like the girl in the movie and it said Mitty. Okay, Daisy nodded sincerely. But I'm not dressing like her. She is a girl and a name. So the pair tried to turn to the sound of the shooting. It seems to be coming from outside the front door. Let's peek out the window, said to Daisy. Maybe we can see something. Minnie pulled that string to the kitten and let out a loud gasp. What is it? asked Daisy. Oh, someone else with the starch. Kittens! She cries and through the open, open door and up from in them inside. Poor things, do you think they're lost? Daisy asked. Maybe, me, Minnie replied. We'll ask around the neighborhood tomorrow and to see if the beyond did it to anyone. In the meantime, I'll make up the sparrowhead, said Daisy. What sparrowhead? Minnie wondered. Daisy got to her a large the basket. This one! She said, I am in here, here, after the dead kittens and cats. See, they're fun resemblance. Who would have us that our monster would turn out to be furry and cute? Minnie asked as she could snuggled back into her sleeping bag. Not me, Daisy replied. And the two girls brought up the into giggles. Just a few minutes later, Minnie Daisy and the him not so scary kittens were all fast to say. You're still, still, still holding. All right. Coming in, hey, from my heart, go, 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 please.